Okay, so here we are back inside Photoshop and we're ready to start slicing up our document. And I'm going to show you three different methods that you can use to slice up your document uh, depending on what your needs are. That way you'll be aware of all the different methods and you can use them as you need to. Uh, so the first one is going to be based on the layers we select. So what I'm going to do is come over here and select my home layer and then hold down shift and select my contact layer. And that's going to select all five of these layers. And then I'm just going to come up to the layer menu and then come down to new layer based slices. And when I select that, Photoshop is going to automatically create a number of different layers based on this on a number I'm sorry, a number of different slices based on the layers that I have selected. And it looks like this. Now if you've never done slicing before, you're probably looking at this and saying, what is that? Uh, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit to this top left corner so that you can kind of get a better idea of what's going on here. And right there. I'm going to hold down spacebar to get the hand tool and just kind of drag my document around. I'm going to minimize my layers palette as well. There we go. Alright. So the first thing you'll notice is that you, do, that you have two kinds of slices here. You know, Some slices with little gray numbers in them, some slices with a blue number in them, and you know, what does all this mean and what's going on? Uh, basically what we're doing is uh, you're telling Photoshop hey I'm gonna use these layers and I want you to take these layers and create a slice out of that layer but because images are made up of pixels and pixels are square you can't just simply take a chunk of pixels out of the document without slicing up the remainder of the document you have to use up all the pixels in the document so when you come in and you tell Photoshop, hey, use this layer to create a slice, Photoshop is going to say, well, okay, I'll create that slice, but I'm also going to create all these other slices. So these gray ones are the ones that Photoshop creates on its own, and they're known as auto slices because Photoshop automatically creates them. But this blue one right here is called a user slice. And it's, you know, you're probably thinking, why is this a user slice when I didn't create it? Well, this is considered to be a user slice because you told Photoshop, use this layer that I'm telling you to use to create this slice. So it becomes a user slice. Um, in a sense, it's a user slice. Really, it's a layer-based slice. And in order to make it an actual full-fledged user slice, you have to promote it, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, you'll see that this pattern repeats itself. you got this user slice up here and each slice is numbered starting with 0, 1 and then 0, 2 and my user slice is 0, 3 and this slice is 0, 4 and this one down here is 0, 5 and then if I come down to my next uh, slice you'll see again I have this big long long one over here and then one underneath I get the numbers to show up, one underneath one on the side and then the user slice or the layer base slice and uh, Again with the numbers, the layer based slice, one underneath, one on the side, and you repeat that same pattern over and over again. And that's just the way that this document's laid out that it does that. Uh, yours may be different. Um, this is a very simple layout, very simple document, nothing complex to it. It's, it's not a more, it's not considered one of the more advanced layouts for web design, that's for sure. Um, but that's where you'll have to learn. You go in and create your own advanced layouts and learn how to slice it effectively and appropriately. So um, that's one way, the layer-based way. I don't particularly uh, like that way, uh, although it does have its uses. It's just in this case, the use is not very effective because each one of these slices uh, is a different width. You can see the about slice is a little bit bigger than the home, and forms is bigger than about, and so on and so on. Each one's bigger than the next one. And I don't need that. That's going to be a little bit too complicated on the web design side. I mean, I could do it, but uh, I don't want to do it that way. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you a different way to automatically generate uh, some slices really fast and really quick. So I'm just going to re-expand my layers palette here, deselect my layers, press Control Z to undo that, and now you'll see that my entire document is laid out in one big auto slice. Uh, I really don't need to see that. So if you ever want to show or hide your slices, you can just go to the view menu, come down to show, and then click slices. You'll see that it's checked, which means that my slices are showing. If I uncheck it, it goes away. And there goes my slices. No big deal. Um, 
Okay, the next automated way to create slices, semi-automated way to create slices, is to do it from the guides that you set up for your document. Now, I've already set up my guides, and if you ever want to see your guides, or, or show or hide your guides, go to the View menu again, come down to Show, and then there's Guides, and you've got a keyboard shortcut of Control plus Semicolon. So I'm going to click on this, and I'll use the keyboard shortcut from here on out if I ever need to show or hide the guides. Uh, but what I'll do is just kind of zoom in and show you how I got my guides set up. You'll see that, let me close this back up. You'll see that uh, my guides have a height of 50 pixels. They go from 75 pixels uh, with the top line to 125 pixels on the bottom line with this one. And then if I go down to the next one, you'll see 125 to 175, and so on and so forth. You'll also see that they, they span 130 pixels across. They start at zero and they come across to 130. And on each one, there is this one pixel line of white that I have. And that's going to be perfectly fine. You're not going to see it. It's not going to be a big deal because of the way we're going to set the document up. Uh, at the contact button down here, there's uh, you know some, some white here in the corner. And all this isn't going to be a big deal. Okay, It's going to be just fine. I just want you to see that my, my guides are 150 high. I mean, uh, 50 pixels high by 130 wide. Uh, for these buttons. For my footer, my guides are, this guy is 85 pixels high, and of course it's the length of the document, which is 800 pixels. And that needs to incorporate the drop shadow, and that's why it's 85 pixels. So, uh, so in order to create my uh, slices from my guides, uh, what I need to do is select my slice tool. And if you've never done slicing before, you probably don't even know where it is but the slice tool is actually hidden underneath the crop tool right here so if I right click or left click and hold down the mouse button on the crop tool I get a fly out menu with the slice tool and the slice select tool and I want the slice tool so I'll select the slice tool and then uh, what I can do now that I have the slice tool selected Photoshop gives me a little slice tool menu at the top right here and I can just click this button slices from guides if I I'm going to leave my mouse over and I'll say create slices from guides. So if I click that, bing, there I go. 16 slices all created uh, symmetrically from the guides that I've laid out. Now I don't need 16 user based slices, user created slices. I don't need those. I only need these five here and one for my footer. So now what I can do is come in and take my slice select tool and I can select any one slice. I'm just going to zoom in here where you can see this a little bit better. You'll see that when I select it, I get a bounding box with some handles uh, on all four sides and all four corners. And I can readjust the size of it uh, if need be. Make it bigger, make it wider, make it smaller. Whatever I need to do, I can do uh, with these guides here. Alright, if I want to uh, I don't really need this slice, so I'm just going to delete it. And I can right click on it and go to delete slice, or I can just press delete on my keyboard. And now you'll see it's become an auto slice, a gray auto slice. So I'm going to do that with the remainder of the slices here. I'm just going to select them, press delete on my keyboard, and get rid of all these extra slices. I missed one. Get rid of all these slices, even these two in my footer. And now I'm going to show you the last way to create a slice, and that is simply just to come over to your slice tool, and whether you have guides or whether you don't have guides, I, re I recommend you do use guides, uh, you can just draw out a slice. I need to, uh, this footer to be a slice, so I'm just going to click here, drag, and let go, and there it is, my footer slice. And uh, that's basically all there is to creating slices in Photoshop. The next step is for us to name each individual slice and you'll, that's going to be very important, you'll see why later we will name them and then we will export them as individual images to get ready to use in our web page and we'll do that in the next video